Hey guys, Stacey Hart here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a voice impression for the character Princess Zelda from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games, so I'm really excited to do this. So, here we go. From here we'll make our way to Goron City. Then we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Jeru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts, so much we don't know. But if we want to turn back to Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now, wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? Nothing, just as I thought. Hmm, it appears that the structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But, de but designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get to side? I need to activate it somehow. I thought I made it clear that I am not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine regardless of the king's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me. The cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of the beast we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that I fear that this is an omen which pretends the return of Calamity Ganon. And if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. There's one. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They're also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. This one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare endangered species. Despite her efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. Is that what I think it is? Look at this, I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We will be in a controlled environment out here, and with your, with your level of physical fitness, you'd be the perfect candidate for the study. Go on, taste it. I doubt this will let up any time soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You dedicate yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if, one day, you realize that you just weren't meant to be a fighter, yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so, no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told, I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful, Link. That's all I have today for Zelda. If you liked this video and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And please let me know what you thought of it. And if you would like to see more of Zelda voice impressions, please let me know in the comments. I will also try other voice impressions from any game, movie, TV show, as long as I know that character. I will also make a second video for the more memories of Zelda. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.